Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and look at that, 2019 is almost finished. In this video we're going to be exploring some of the biggest, in my opinion, space related discoveries and findings that kind of redefined our understanding of the universe, the galaxies, and of course our own solar system. Let's discuss these top 15 findings, at least in my opinion, and welcome to What The Math. Now, by the way, so I wanted to start by saying that this video is going to be relatively short, but I'm going to release a much longer video that many of you have been asking for, summarizing all of the major discoveries, and it's going to be a really, really long video in the next few days. The reason I'm doing this is actually because, well, it's sort of the holiday season, and I gotta take a break. Mostly because I have to go see my father and I have to do a few other things that I haven't done in a while. That of course includes catching up on my comments, catching up on some sleep and doing a few other things I haven't done in a while. I'm going to be away for like a week, so there's going to be about 7 videos posted with all of the major discoveries of 2019, summarized as a kind of a long video that some of you enjoy watching. But anyway, so let's begin with some of the top discoveries. and. I guess we have to start with the big one. And for me personally, it has to be the picture of the black hole M87. Actually, the black hole now has a name, it's known as Powahi. The M87 is the galaxy. And this black hole picture has been sort of delayed by many, many years. Well, actually two years. And honestly, even though some people were quite disappointed with what was captured, a lot of people found it a little bit blurry and not particularly detailed, for me personally, it met all of my expectations. It was just beautiful. It was perfect. Now what you're seeing here is of course the super ultra massive black hole known as Powahi and you can see the shadow of the black hole along with the um, light that's generated by the accretion disk itself. Now all of this as you can see here is really really big. This is 670 astronomical units which is actually approximately 5 times the distance of Voyager probes to our sun. So this is a really, really big distance. And the Voyager probes are even given here for a comparison. And so whatever is happening here is difficult to imagine. It's almost impossible for us to see it any uh, clearer. But the scientists from the so-called EHT, or the Event Horizon Telescope that's responsible for releasing this photo, is now working on an actual video that will hopefully get released, well, maybe in the next few years. But at this point, we don't really know. So this, in my opinion, was the number one discovery, but we had another one. Another discovery that was related to black holes, and it was essentially a confirmation that the uh, closest ultramassive black hole to us, and possibly one of the biggest, if not the biggest black holes in the universe, is an object known as Holmberg 15a. And if you'd like to learn more about this particular black hole, make sure to watch the video tomorrow where I explain everything in detail. But in a nutshell, what we learn about it is that it's a black hole at least 40 billion masses of the sun, which is about 8 times more massive than the black hole M87, and it's located about 700 million light years away from us. But anyway, let's go on to number 3 discovery, the discovery of the second ever interstellar object, now known as the comet Borisov. Here is a photo by NASA taken not so long ago showing us what this comet looked like when it was sort of in front of a distant galaxy here, and this is when it was the closest to Earth. And so now the comet is actually on the way out, and it's going to be almost impossible for us to catch up to it because it's moving really really fast. As you might already know, this is the second such object discovered, but in the video tomorrow you can learn more about what we've discovered so far. Anyway, moving on with... The next discovery of 2019, and that's actually related to several separate studies. And here we got a lot more confirmation that pretty much everything in the universe is connected. We've had studies that discussed um, the galactic connections, the so-called galactic filaments or galactic streams, and also the unusual patterns of galactic rotations as well. So in other words, in 2019 we had a lot of scientific confirmation that many galaxies seem to be connected in various ways, and it's somewhat difficult to explain it otherwise. Anyway, and related to that, we were able to take this incredible photo that you see right here, which is technically the first ever picture of the so-called cosmic web. Now, this might not be as dramatic and important as the first black hole picture, but nevertheless, this once again shows us that, well, everything does seem to have a connection, and it's a visual material thing that connects various galaxies. And both of these discoveries we'll discuss tomorrow as well. And speaking of things that we can't see really well, well, for the first time ever, we were able to pierce through the gas that you see right here in the middle of our own galaxy, 
and actually see the dark side of our galaxy in a lot of detail. We were able to discover a lot of very specific stars and the study that was able to achieve this was actually quite incredible. So in other words, for the first time ever, we were able to get a relatively detailed picture of what the other side of the galaxy looks like. And some of the other discoveries were a little bit closer to home. For example, the Voyager 2 probe finally reached the interstellar space and by using very thorough analysis, scientists were able to discover some incredible new things about what happens right here as soon as you leave the solar system essentially. And some of those things were pretty incredible. More detail to follow tomorrow. Then we also had a lot of new discoveries coming from much closer to the sun, as a matter of fact the opposite side of the solar system, the Parker Solar Probe, that for the first time ever was able to discover some incredible things very very close to our sun that might explain why certain things are the way they are. For example, why the so-called solar corona is like millions of degrees in temperature, whereas the sun itself is only a few thousand degrees. So all of these new discoveries from the Parker probe were really important to us and allowed us to understand our sun a lot better. But there's going to be a lot more coming in the future because the Parker solar probe is only getting closer and closer to the sun. In the next five years we're going to get an incredible amount of data both about the sun and the conditions so close to the sun as the Parker's probe approaches the sun at its closest in 2024. So I guess in 2024 there's going to be a huge follow up on what we've discovered. And speaking of surfaces of stars, for the first time ever we were able to recreate what the surface of a typical neutron star looks like, and in this case it was absolutely mind-blowing what the scientists were able to achieve. Not to mention that there were also some incredible unusual findings, such as for example the three unusual hotspots in the southern part of the pulsar that they were looking at, which kind of didn't make sense. Although, maybe it did. You'll find out tomorrow. But then we also were able to analyze the universe itself, and there were several major discoveries in 2019 suggesting, well, actually, unusual blunders or problems. For one, we've discovered that, well, it seems that the cosmic constant that we've been taking for granted, the so-called Hubble constant, might actually not be constant. It seems to be different in every direction and with distance, and of course with time. But at the same time, we've also discovered that the shape of our universe might also not be particularly flat. In other words, there was a suggestion that the universe might actually be shaped sort of like this. It might be a little bit curved, which is extremely problematic for our current understanding of how everything works in the universe. So in that sense, hopefully in 2020 or further on, we'll be able to finally discover what is it that's happening to the universe, are the constants constants or are they just variables, and also what is the shape of the universe? Is it curved? Is it flat? Is there something we're not really getting here? So this is going to be important to answer in the next few years. And speaking of blunders, there were quite a lot in regards to our own galaxy as well. As a matter of fact, three separate studies investigated and in some sense redefined first of all the shape of our galaxy, we now know that it's technically not really flat either. We now believe that the Milky Way galaxy is more or less flat as you see in this picture. At the same time, we're able to discover that it's a little bit larger and also more massive than we believed, so all of these things together make us realize that we don't really know just enough about the galaxy that we live in either. We need to continuously study it and discover new things about it because there's still a lot of mystery even here in our own galaxy. And some of the other major uh, discoveries happen right here in the solar system again. This one is in regards to Mars. We've already known about the unusual patterns of methane, but now NASA has discovered that there's also some unusual patterns of oxygen as well. Now, in my video, I even imply that it might suggest life on Mars. Or at least for now, we have no geological or chemical explanation to what might cause these unusual and well-defined patterns of oxygen uh, fluctuation that has been detected by NASA in 2019. Another interesting discovery right here in the solar system was in regards to the farthest object in the solar system. Now, interestingly, the famous scientist Scott Shepard announced the discovery of so-called far out at a distance of about 120 astronomical units away from the solar system. But as the story goes, in January of 2019, because of the snowstorm, he was forced to kind of go through some of the other data and was not able to present about it, and completely by accident, discovered another even farther object known as far, far out. This one approximately 140 AU from the sun. In other words, this accidental discovery was, in my opinion, one of the most unusual and kind of coolest discoveries 
in our solar system. So in other words, we were able to discover some incredibly dim and very, very far away objects much farther than, or specifically about five times as far as Neptune, the farthest planet in the solar system. So that was a pretty cool discovery, completely by accident, but we don't really know much else about the discovery because we haven't really been able to observe this particular rock for much longer, so we don't even know its exact orbit just yet. But it is one of those really important discoveries in our search for the mysterious Planet 9. Now, the next discovery is from the beautiful planet Saturn. Now, you might already guess what this is, because this was a pretty big discovery, but Saturn now is the planet with the most moons, 82 to be specifically. We've discovered 20 new irregular moons in orbit around Saturn, making this the new record holder. It's very likely Jupiter will eventually take over, but for now, at least until the end of 2019, Saturn is the king. And now we come to the discovery number 15, and honestly it's been really hard to pick just 15, because this year we've discovered a lot of things. There were things like exomoons that were seen being formed around other planets, there were also unusual black holes that should not exist, or black hole neutron star collisions that we've never observed before, but to me personally one of the biggest discoveries was unfortunately a little bit negative. It was several major discoveries coming from NASA suggesting that space travel is a little bit more dangerous than we initially thought. There was one discovery that the cosmic rays and various types of radiation in space can in some sense influence the memory and even the mood of a person. And the suggestion was that 1 in 5 astronauts could be affected by this. But a much more dangerous discovery was relatively recently when the studies from the astronauts living in the International Space Station discovered that while living in the zero-g conditions, their heart and their blood starts acting very strange. And in some cases, or actually several cases, the blood flow stopped completely or even reversed. And that is a huge deal. A human being cannot function unless the blood flows in a single direction. So in that sense, it was a pretty scary but somewhat important discovery that will hopefully lead to new advances in space exploration and new uh, suggestions, new discoveries and new tools for us to use here on Earth but also up there in space. Anyway, so these are my 15 picks for the top stories but there's actually a lot more I haven't covered. And so what I decided to do is post these long compilation videos with all of the major discoveries in the next few days while I'm away. And hopefully some of you enjoy them, and if you don't, well, there's going to be more videos coming starting in January when I do come back. On that note, I wish all of you all of the best for the next year, hopefully all of you have incredible plans for the holidays, and even if you don't, I wish you all the best. Best of luck, and thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you in the next year, space out, and as always, bye-bye.